Section 2.3, the modern view of atomic structure. So we've got three subatomic particles. You have the proton, it's positive. You have the neutron, which is neutral, and you have the electron, which is negative. The proton and neutron are both um, about the same weight. Uh, we're gonna see that, that when, if you were to take a carbon uh, which is six protons and six electrons, or six neutrons, so carbon-12. If you were to, you'll see that there's six protons, six neutrons. If you were to divide that number by 12, they will assign that as one AMU, atomic mass unit. So an atomic mass unit is the mass of that since, the, since essentially the electron is no mass at all, we can almost ignore it because it's 1,800 times less than a proton and a neutron. So it really doesn't matter how many electrons. That would just be a decimal that would round off anyway. You, you do an average of a proton and neutron, and that is one weight. So it's one nuclear a nucleus weight, and so it's called an AMU. And all of these atoms we're going to be uh, will be weighed in AMUs. The proton and the neutron are in the nucleus of the atom and the electron swarms in a cloud around the the nucleus. So most of the volume is due to electrons but most of the mass is due to the nucleus or at least almost all the mass. The quantity of um, of charge, the charge on the on the electron or the proton is going to be 1.6 O2 times 10 to the 19 coulombs. And so that will be negative that number for an electron, positive that number for a proton. The dimensions of an atom are very, very small. They're, they're roughly the size of an angstrom. An angstrom an angstrom is 1 times 10 to the minus 10th meters. Okay, so, so it's like a 10 billion, 10 billionth of a meters. That would be the dimension. So about one, um, one angstrom is about the, the radius of, a, of an atom. When you look at the periodic table, you're going to see that there's lots and lots of numbers. The one number is the atomic number, and the order of the elements on the periodic table is in order of atomic number. Um, it's designated as a capital Z. Capital Z is the atomic number. It's the number of protons in the nucleus. And since all elements are neutral, they're also going to be the number of electrons. So the number of electrons and the number of protons uh, in the atom. The mass number is the sum of the protons plus the neutrons in the nucleus. So um, those, uh, those are called nucleons, anything in the nucleus. Protons and nu neutrons are called nucleons together. So by convention, if you were to have element X, whatever element, uh, we would write Z as the number of proton or, um, protons, that's its atomic number, and then A to the upper left. So you're going to have a subscript to the left of the element symbol for the atomic number, and the mass number is going to be a superscript to the left of the element, uh, element name. The next concept is an isotope. And an isotope are atoms with identical atomic numbers but different mass numbers. So a, an element is, is defined by its mass number. So anything that's carbon, for instance, is going to be number six. So anything that has six protons is carbon. But you can have lots of different um, mass numbers for carbon. So for instance, you could have carbon, which is six and 12. So we call that carbon 12. We would have six and 13 or six and 14. These are different isotopes. So they all have the six protons because that's what defines carbon. If they had seven car, uh, protons, it wouldn't be carbon anymore, and the different elements have different numbers of protons. But an isotope has differing numbers 
of um, of weight. So it's really just different numbers of of pro of neutrons. If you have a specific isotope, um, that's called a nuclide. A nuclide is a specific isotope of an element. So this is an example. This is um, hydrogen. There are th uh, three different isotopes of hydrogen, as an example. One would have one proton, no neutrons at all. So it would be H11. So you'd have one proton, and then that upper one is one plus zero. So it's the number of protons plus neutrons. There's no neutrons, so it'd be one, one. In this example, we also have hydrogen, so it's it's one, but it's going to be, there's going to be one new, um, neutron, so it'll have a mass number of two. Uh, this is called deuterium. Uh, because because hydrogen is so small, it's just specific. There's specific numbers. We call this proteum. If it's a normal hydrogen, it's called proteum. Deuterium has two um, two nucle a nucleons, so it has a pro proton and a neutron. And then your last one here, tritrium, also is is one atomic number, but it has a mass number of three. So one proton, two neutrons, uh, would be tritrium. When you do the symbols, I've done this in a, a second ago, you put the, the element uh, symbol, and then to the lower left, you write the Z, which is your atomic number, um, and then that's the number of protons. In a neutral atom, it's also the number of electrons because the charges will always ba balance. So whatever the protons are, there will be equal number of electrons. And then the upper left in a superscript will be the mass number, and the mass number, remember, is the number of protons plus neutrons together. So here's a couple examples. Carbon-12, and you name it by its mass number, so carbon-12, uh, because it's carbon, it's going to have six uh, protons, so it has a six in the lower case, 12 in the top. Carbon-14 is six in the six because it's carbon, and then 14 in the top. If you were going to find want protons, you simply look at the atomic number. That's the number of protons. If you want electrons and it's neutral, you would also look at the atomic number. It's the same number. If you want neutrons, you're going to have to take the mass number, which is protons plus neutrons, and subtract the atomic number. So if you if mass number if mass number is protons plus neutrons, and atomic number is just protons, then neutrons is going to be your mass number minus your atomic number.